Okay, I thought I'd do a little review. This is on a lockpick set I just bought. I first seen this uh, Bosnian Bill had a review on it. I thought it was pretty neat. And then uh, Lock Lube did a or Lock Noob did a review on it on uh, YouTube, and I thought it was neat too. So I thought I'd buy one and check it out. Now I definitely don't need another lockpick set, but I'm a locksmith and I love lockpick sets, so I thought it would be pretty cool. So I'll show you what we got. Uh, the case is a vinyl case, but it's very nice made. Um, it has a nice heavy zipper on it. And um, when you open this, it is chock full of stuff. And I'm going to go over uh, what kind of picks it has in here. It is chucked full, has a ton of hooks. I mean, all kinds of hooks. Uh, there's probably not a hook you, you, could, you could not get that's not in this kit. Um, and then uh, ball rakes. Uh, it has a half double half ball, uh, a snow two different size snowmans, and then a triple ball. This triple ball I've only really seen them in Chinese kits, and this is a Chinese kit. Um, one thing it has is a really fine fish hook to pull broken keys out. And if you're a locksmith, uh, having this in your kit is a neat uh, neat tool to have. You uh, do run into that. Um, the other thing it has is a mess of different size diamonds, which is very unusual. Normally you'll see diamonds, you'll have one diamond, and sometimes it'll be an oversized one, or this. I mean, it has a DeForest diamond, it has a real small diamond, two different, or three different size diamonds here. I kind of organize this set in different categories. Um, this is a lifter hook, it has a little notch in there. And I kind of throw this under a diamond. It has a diamond, but you could also SPP if you flip this over. Um, then on this side, since I organize it, there there is a bunch of empty spots in this kit. So if you wanted to make your own or add your own pick tips, it would be cool. I got the rakes down here, and uh, we have uh, two different worm rakes. Let's see if I can see that one. Oh, wait a minute. Let me pull these out here. These are the couple of the tensioners. They're holding it up. Let's see if I can see it. Okay, so we have, uh, that's kind of like an offset worm, and then we have a standard worm here. And then you see this rake here, um, this, this rake here was developed by Prolock. They're the first ones to come out with this rake. Uh, it's, you have a bunch of high peaks and it tapers down. And then, uh, this one here, uh, this one here is, uh, um, it's like a sparrows or worm rake. It's the closest thing I can see. And then this this one here, um, this is a, a almost I, I think it's identical copy of a Raiden. Raiden came out with this pick, and uh, it, it it's actually a neat little pick. You could get in a real tight key ways to rake them. And then uh, here you got three different wave rakes. One with a new newer style solid because that's where it normally breaks right there at the tip. And then uh, two more. And those are neat. Those are a kinetic tool. You move them in and out to get the pins to bounce. But also I like to uh, rock these ones, which is really nice. And then it has all kinds of tensioners. Um, one thing, this is the only Chinese set that I've ever seen that, cut, that came with a Peterson pry bars that are in here. It's a 50 thousandths and 40 thousandths. And it comes with, I do like the Chinese Z wrenches. These are the Z wrenches. For, I use them at the bottom of the keyway, and they go in far so your wrench isn't going to pop out on you. And then you got uh, some of these piano wire. Uh, they're hammered down. They're a neat tension wrench, too. Uh, you have a single twist, and then just a bend over. And then here's another Z wrench. And then it came with a, also, which I really like, and these are in a lot of the Chinese kits, but if you're doing any automotive work, it holds those shutter doors open real good. This is a real tight one. And then it came with one of these feather te tensioners. If you want to do a really, really light tension, uh, that's a good one to have. And then inside, I got three picks right now inside of three of the handles. And these are the three cities. Uh, you can see these on Peterson's website for Peterson picks. They're, they're the identical three cities. And uh, a lot of uh, kits will come with one of the city rakes, but it won't come with the other two. This has all three of them in there. There's five handles total, and the, what's neat about this is the collets are a little bit different sizes, so you can put different thickness of picks. Now, these first three collets, 
they're, they're different sizes, but if you tighten them up, they hold all these picks in here. Then the next one is actually, if you look at it, it's too, th let's see if I can zoom in on it. It's uh, too thin for any of these picks. It's 15 thousandths. It says 0. 0.5, but it's 15 thousandths. So, so none of these picks actually fit into this one. So this is cool if you wanted to make some 15 thousandths, uh, 15 or if you, probably 20, 15 or 20 thousandths picks would go into here very nicely. And then this collet is actually thicker. And I have no idea what you use this for, but you see how wide that is? Let's see if I can zoom in and see what number it is on there. I don't know if I can see it. But you see how wide? Now I could torque that down and get it to hold in there, but it's a lot thicker than the other ones. So I just have the three cities uh, rakes in there right now. And then uh, on this other side, now this is the most dimple rakes I've ever seen in any, uh, any kit, pretty much. Um, yeah, I'm here in the U.S. We almost never run into dimple locks, but... With that said, last week I had a house unlock on French doors, and of course it had a dimple lock cylinder. I don't even know where they got the thing from. And I didn't have this set, but I had other dimple rakes on my van that came in other sets, and I was actually able to rake it. So these are actually worth having, just in case you ever run into one. Uh, the other thing is these here are all automotive style picks, and uh, okay, so I, I ranged them in all the automotive as now these ones up top are really uh, proprietary to China. I've only seen these these ones in Chinese kits. I'm not sure if they even have names. Uh, these ones over here, this one, this one, this one, this one, these four here, oops, these four here, these are called wave rakes, and these are used in automotive. And then uh, this is a lifter pick right here that you, for SBP, and this this also is a lifter pick. I don't know if you can see that. Let's see if I can zoom in on it. It has a little lifter notch in there for lifting the pins. And then you have double-sided picks. Now these could you could use it as a, excuse me on automotive, but I've also used these on like um, Chicago double-sided locks. Uh, in the shop, we'll get people to come in and uh, and. Uh, you know, you could rake the double-sided Chicago locks really easy. You put the tension wrench in the middle of the Chicago lock, and you can rake these up and down, and they work quite well. So those are, those are kind of neat to have. And then a, just a couple other ones. Here is a, um, this is a, a, a little bit larger uh, hook than the uh, other one I showed you. But this is great for automotive keys to get that broken key out. Uh, I had to remove one of those today. I didn't use that. I used one of the other ones. I just got this in the mail. And there's uh, just a single uh, hump or wave rake. But anyways, this is just, I think there's 81 pieces in here total. It's just chuck pack full. I bought this uh, Bangor.com, and uh, I think it was 80-some dollars, and you can get a coupon code, it drops it down to $70. And and uh, it's just a neat kit. Uh, really, I have no use for it besides uh, just because I like lock picks. You know, I have... Just about all this stuff in another kit, but I can tell you what I'm going to do to this kit. Uh, all these, all these are uh, have kind of sharp edges on them. I don't know if we can zoom in here and see. Let's see if I can see here. Turn it. Let's see if I can get some background. Maybe you can see it better. But I'm going to I'm going to sand it down those sharp edges, and. Uh, and get them nice and smooth. Put a little bit of uh, 400 grit sandpaper on all the picks that I use, all the hooks. I'm going to sand them all down, get them real polished. It is stainless steel. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a full set of Bogotas. Because, you know, that's one thing this kit should have. If it has all this stuff, it should have a Bogota. So I'm going to do a single peak, a double peak, uh, or, I mean, a double peak, a triple peak, and then a couple offset Bogotas where you have a double peak and then a space and a single peak, or uh, a single peak, a space, and a double peak. So I'm going to try to do a full set of Bogotas in here. The other two picks that I'd love to see in here, which are controversial, uh, are the um, king and queen, but not the king and queen picks at Sparrow Cells. The king and queen picks tip size, because they're a little bit smaller, that are in the Mad Bob set. Uh, those king queens I'd like to see in here. Uh, I think if it had that, this would just be a just have everything. Um, 
it, this isn't what it wouldn't be a kit I'd regularly use because for a locksmith you need to grab your pick. You don't want to have to change handles. But what this would be good for is to have it heck thrown in your in your truck, not your locksmith van, your personal car, because it never fails. You'll be on vacation or you'll be over a friend's house and they'll say, Hey, can you do this or can you open this? And at least if you had this set, you'd have everything. So uh, it's just a cool set. Thought I'd do a little review on it. I'll talk to you later.